Your baby has suffered a brain injury at birth and now you would like to move forward with a medical malpractice case in the state of Maryland. But now you're wondering, how is the hospital going to defend itself? Want to know what I'm getting at here? Stay with me as I share with you this really important information. Hello, I'm Marcus Boston, and I am a medical malpractice and childbirth injury attorney practicing law here in the state of Maryland, and I would like to quickly talk with you today about some really important information. And this information deals with how some ways in which a hospital can defend itself or attempt to defend itself when we are talking about a birth injury case. Now, before I get started, I want to make sure that you understand, parents, that you cannot be shocked if you learn that the hospital is essentially trying to say that the reason that your baby has a birth injury or a brain injury is because of something on your side. For example, a genetic argument on mom and dad, essentially trying to argue that, well, the reason why that the baby has a brain injury is because of something that has to do with mom or dad. Number two, what they can sometimes argue is that the baby had a developmental abnormality that happened early in the process. And this is why the child has suffered a brain injury. Now, for a lot of parents, when, a, when something like this happens, they are very concerned. And for a lot of moms that we get calls from, a lot of times they will have had an uneventful pregnancy. Everything would have, looks like everything was going well. And it was after birth, it was, it was during birth, or right after they gave birth that they, that they were able to see that their child was maybe blue in color, or their child had seizures, or there was meconium present, or their child had to be resuscitated, their child had to be taken to the NICU. It was at this time that they began to notice all of these things. And the hospitals and the doctors were telling them certain things as to what they thought was the cause of the child's injury. And for a lot of parents, they do not get a second opinion or they do not get another viewpoint until they do exactly what I just said. They go out and they get a second opinion. They may get another doctor to look at the scans or to review the records. And another doctor will come back in some instances and say, well, you know what? No, 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 no. This does not look like this was something genetic. This does not look like this was something, an abnormality on the child's part. This looks like an injury that was sustained during the delivery process. And this is what can tip off a lot of parents as to you know, looking for help on the legal side. But the purpose of today's video is to just let you know some of the ways, and I'm not, I didn't get through all of it, but some of the ways in which a hospital will attempt to defend itself with the big ones being a genetic link, something on the mom or dad side, or number two, some type of abnormality with the child itself, with the developmental process of the child. If you have more questions about what's going on in your situation, more than likely you're watching this video right now because maybe your child has suffered a brain injury at birth and you have questions now about what's going on. You're concerned about some of the challenges that your child is going to face going forward and you would like to speak with someone about what's going on. If you have this going on in your life right now and you would like to reach out and speak with me further, this is what I invite you to do. And remember, it costs you absolutely nothing to take this next action. And what is that action? To pick up the phone and give me a call. I could be reached at 301-850-4832. Or if you prefer, you could send me an email to medicalinjury at bostonlawllc.com. I answer Maryland childbirth injury and medical malpractice wrongful death questions just like yours all the time. And I'll be happy to take some time and listen to your story. All right, that's going to be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys here at Boston Law Group LLC, and we will see you next time. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.